In this video, I wanted to give you a quick route combo that you can use out of the bunch tight end to be very effective on offense. This is something that I like to do whenever they start to show that they can kind of contain P a bit over. Um, this is one of my favorite little adjustments to the adjustment. Now, if you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit that subscribe button below. I have released new videos every single day that can help you get better at Madden 22. I also have a full bunch tight end ebook, and if you want to get access to all of my ebooks all year long, I would encourage you to sign up for my True Fan membership. My True Fan membership gives you access to every single ebook that I release, every single exclusive tip that I release, every single pro player breakdown, and we're working on getting access to a Discord server. And so, what I would encourage you to do is, if you've not joined the True Fan membership yet, I would highly encourage you to do that. Um, it's just literally, it's super cheap. It's ten bucks a month and you can cancel it whenever you'd like. We already have nine ebooks out, two offensive ones right now, and seven defensive ones. I've got a few new offenses coming, um, but I know that defense has been super hard for a lot of people, including myself, and so I've been just putting a lot of lab work in to the defensive side of the ball this year because offense comes a little bit more natural, uh, and at least in this year's game. So that being said, uh, we are going to break down this incredible, incredible route combo uh, out of the bunch tight end. And like I said, if you want to get the guide, it's in the description, uh, and it's also down in the comments. You just click that link, and it'll take you right over to uh, the page where you can get access to everything. Okay, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to use the play stick. And I love this play for several different reasons. Um, I would recommend that you have the Hot Route Master ability uh, simply because it's going to make it easier, or the Titan Apprentice ability. Either one of those two, and you're going to have a lot of success. So the play stick out of the bunch tight end, and our adjustments are really simple. All we're going to do, and it's going to be able to beat every coverage, by the way. All we're going to do, and I love this. I love, this is one of my favorite plays for spacing purposes. Most people, whenever they defend bunch tight end, they're worried about this right side of the field. Well, this is how we're going to attack the left side of the field. And I think this is something that people don't realize that is so good about bunch tight end. Bunch tight end gives you three receivers to one side, and honestly, it probably gives you the best pass protection in the game. If you think about it, you've got a tight end and a running back. The running back oftentimes can block both ways. Um, you know, I just really love the pass protection out of this as well. But anyways, the bottom line is here's your setup. We're going to put the tight end on a crossing route. We're going to put the running back on a out route. And then that's pretty much all we need to do. I like to take circle and put him on a vertical seam streak just as a snap read. And what you'll see is we're going to motion this post across. And this is really going to open up the middle of the field. We're going to let that post set his feet. I find that that's a little bit better this year than it's been in years past. But what you'll see is this crossing route will get in a really unique position depending on the defense that they're facing. For example, that, that right there was just a basic cover four drop. Now, I'm not setting zone drops, but if I were setting some zone drops, a lot of times people put their zone drops too big or too deep for this crosser. This tight end crosser will get into such a unique spot on the field, as you can see. Now, what is very likely to have happen, and this was a concept last year on a trip to tight end, uh, what's very likely to have happen is they're gonna say, you know what, they're gonna, like, they might be using, um, let me give you an easy, easier example, let me go to three, three, five wide. So we might set up a Mabel coverage, right? And then I'm gonna use this tight end because he's been, he's been beating my Mabel coverage. So when I see this, I'm just gonna go use it the tight end. That's why I love this play, because if they try to do that, um, this post route to Godwin is gonna be wide open over the middle of the field. So they go to the crosser, and then as you'll see, the skinny post gets in a really nice little sweet spot. That streak runs every deep zone off, and we're gonna be able to hit that. Um, you can snap this when he's in motion. I just find that he beats, if they do, if they do run man coverage, He'll beat man significantly better if you let him set his feet. Um, if you don't let him set his feet, I find that man coverage can kind of bag that route. You see there, cover two did a pretty good job on that route. Um, but, again, don't underestimate the power of the seam streak. This seam streak to Mike Evans, because we've now made the three receiver side to the right, this compression seam streak, you can just pass like this to the inside against cover two. And as you can see, um, Brady doesn't even have Denslin and we're able to fit this ball in. So it's a really, really easy throw, um, you know, if you want to be able to, if you want to try to do that. And if you do that, you could also wheel the running back instead of putting him on an out route. That will just pull that right side zone. So like if they're playing that cover two, 
this will pull the right side deep pad you'll see he'll go to the outside which allows a lot more space to be able to throw that right in that seam and as you can see you put them in a really big dilemma because if they want to stop the seam streak then what they have to do is they have to take one of their linebackers and they have to put him in a mid read or a, not a mid read but a uh, a deep middle a middle third zone so you know this is where he runs off that middle third and now you've got a lot of area where you get that aggressive catch. And that's why I really like this play. Now, that's uh, cover three and cover four. Let's talk for a second about this route to uh, Brown. So let's say, let me just stay in cover four for a second. Cover four probably defends the post best, in my opinion. But what you're going to see is this little stick route is the option route. So he's going to find grass, take grass. So as you see right there, he's just going to basically you know, be a kind of a check down. And you can do a lot of stuff with him. If you don't want him on that stick route, let's say you want him on a zig route, you can put him on a zig. If you want him on a traditional hitch route, you could put him on a traditional hitch route. The other thing you want to watch for is oftentimes that stick route, will, once the tight end goes, you'll see he'll pull this zone back. He doesn't right there. But he sucks zones down so good, and he really does open up a lot of opportunity for you to be able to throw your tight end post. Um, I just think you know the way he manipulates zones is really, really good. The running back wheel kind of the same way, and as you see, that post is just so good over the middle. That was cover four, and, and cover four, in my opinion, does the best out of anything in stopping that post. So now let's talk about man coverage. Uh, what I like about this route to Brown is against man, he's going to do a quick out cut. Oftentimes, we'll beat man coverage for you. He'll oftentimes just be an easy, you know, just take take the yardage. He's going to beat man. The other thing, and this is where we really like the running back out route, okay? Your crosser and your post will beat man, but the real quick hot read, if they're getting a blitz, just pop it out to the out route, you know, make a, make a move, make a guy miss, you know, Cordell Patterson more than likely he's going to be able to make somebody miss with that. And so that's why I like that play, or I like that route for that. Your seam streak, I will say, um, occasionally this will actually win. You see, like right there, see that? Against cover two man, if they're just playing stop cover two man, you'd be surprised how many times I can throw that really consistently. So, you know, they're going to have to do something to adjust to that, whether that means pressing, um, for example, like if I hop into it and I press, press coverage, um, you'll see here they jam him and then they get that outside release but now look what's open now you got your crosser uh, crossing route open you know and that crossing route is going to be pretty good for you against man and then the last route that I like to look at in man coverage is the post route and again I'm going to motion snap him but you'll see here if he's got good route running he'll get open but as you see you've got to kind of it's kind of an art in my opinion uh, this this post route is really um, to me it's a, just a little finicky against man uh, whenever you motion it whenever you motion it so you want to try to kind of craft it and see like right there see how he stays inside on him like that that's that's what I'm talking about so when you motion him um, you know to me and I put route tech on almost every receiver at this point in the year just because I don't want to have to worry too much about man coverage because I think man coverage honestly the way the game sits right now probably the one of the better defenses, man and match. Zone is just so bad this year. But if you take a look at this, if I let, if I let him run his route, you see he's going to get that inside release, and most of the time you're going to be able to throw that. If he's got good route running, like you're going to be able to throw that no matter what. Godwin um, only has good route or good, um, you know, route running from the slot. So if Mike Evans, for example, if he was running that route, I'd probably have a little bit more success that I'm having with Godwin. But as you can see here, if I let him set and they run that press, he's gonna get that inside release and he's gonna be able to beat the main coverage. So I really like this play. Um, you know, it's really, really good against the blitz. If they blitz you out of this, let's say they blitz you and they play hard flats. One of the things I absolutely love about this is the whole field becomes open. Your seam streak becomes open. Your post route becomes open. You know, literally, I'm gonna send a five man pressure here and then I'm just going to put my, my user, um, you know, just in a hook curl or whatever. But if you watch here, just hit your post. That post is such, such a good blitz beater. 
if they're playing hard flats. It's really, what I like to do is I like to look to my wheel and if my wheel's not open um, off the snap of the ball, then you know that tells me, oh, they're playing hard flat, right? So then I'm, my next progression is coming up to the middle of the field and see where I can work. Uh, but you'll see right here, like I'm gonna play uh, you know, cloud flat coverage here and you see how, oh, I can just take the wheel. So you put them in this dilemma where they just can't cover everything in this and that's one of the main reasons why I really like this play a lot. Uh, like I said, if you want to, you could streak Brown and then you could zig Godwin if you want to do it like that. That's fine. It's probably a little better against man specifically um, just because that zig route will oftentimes get some good separation for you. But, I mean, you see right there, just such a good play. And this is just one of my favorite concepts. So I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to get my full bunch tied in ebook, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. Remember, if you sign up for the membership today, um, it's just $10 a month, $10 a month, and you can cancel it at any time, and it gets you access to every single guide that I release, every single breakdown, meta update, tips. Um, it gets you access to a ton of material that's going to help you get a, become a better Madden player. So thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you guys next time. Again, if you want to get the eBooks, there's links in the comments and in the description where you can check all that stuff out.